So of course we've taped uh, the hole on the top so when we roll it later we know where to stop uh, rolling so that we don't roll in here because that flexes and we run the risk of uh, cracking it and that would be a disaster. So the other thing that we're doing is we're, we've got some very careful uh, dimensions here to get this out of one piece and uh, so what we have is we have two reference points. One at this corner of the cabinet and one at this corner of the half piece right in here. And those are our two reference points that we need to make sure they line up precisely. The rest of it up here isn't critical. So it's the point of the cabinet to this, into the corner isn't critical. So what we've decided is that it's very important to line these support sticks that are going to go underneath to line them up with our two reference points rather than doing them like this. If we do them like this, then we can't pull them out and line up our reference points. But if we lay them parallel to the two reference points, then we can take the first one out while the others stay in place. Good job getting it right to the edge. Mm. Very important. center of the router and I come at the corner 45 degrees to the beginning of the cut. This passes a 1 uh, setting on the router and I wanted to achieve a one eighth total cut, so it took two passes. And once you've gotten this far, there's a lot invested in your work, and uh, it's nice to be careful so that there's no chipping of 